皆さんこんにちはバーリントン太鼓のペイトンと申しますどうぞよろしく私は東京育ちのアメリカ人です生まれはコネチカット州ですが育ちは東京ですようこそどうぞよろしくお願いいたします I'm Stuart Payton with the Burlington Taiko Group. I grew up in Tokyo. I was born in Connecticut. And my time in Japan was 15 years. K through four education in public school and then international school after that. I started studying Taiko, Japanese drums, in 1984. And I'm a co founder of the Burlington Taiko Group. We started in 86, 87. And we've made all our drums. This exhibit is Taiko Teku. Teku is short for technology, the Japanese pronunciation of technology. I think of Taiko as an acoustic technology, a rhythmic communication technology,、um, also a technology in animism. The life force, the energy and presence of the tree, of the cow, earth and, earth and fire being brought together、uh, to smelt the metal to make the nails for the taiko. A handful of gofun shirayuki, a seashell powder, is thrown inside the drum to add the voice, presence and energy of the ocean. And The energy and presence of the drum maker as well. Taiko as technology, an older technology, Taiko Teku. Over here at this end, I'm thinking about making the drum, building the taiko, birthing the taiko, and then raising the taiko, maintaining the drum, but also growing its voice and presence through the respectful use and care of the drum and the many hours of play and practice on the drum. My hopes go into the drum as I'm making the drum. My love of taiko goes into the drum as I make the drum. And As members of the Burlington Taiko community play on the drum, our love of Taiko, our love of Taiko community goes into the drum. And a drum that's been played for 30 years has a different presence. This section here, I'm thinking of the craft, the practice of playing the drum, the act. Of playing the drum, striking the drum, making it sound, and voicing the drum, you know, letting the, the voice of the taiko be audible to the community.、Um, I think of the resonance of the drum as being within the bandwidth of our hearing. But taiko is also seismic. When the skin is brand new and on the drum, it's full of water. For this drum, we had, I think, 11 people jumping on it,、uh, like a trampoline, taiko trampoline, to massage these wet fibers to give the skin a more mellow sound. And that skin is full of water, it's a heavier skin. And when we strike it, It's a lower pitch than just boom. It's more like, and some of the frequencies are seismic. The floor moves. And in one sense, I feel when the taiko is played, people on the other end of the earth can feel that strike, at least subconsciously. I think of the sound of taiko. Um, as traveling beyond Earth's atmosphere as well.、Um, we know radio waves、um, can be experienced by、um, whatever beings are on Alpha Centauri.、Um, and I feel that Tycho also communicates beyond the atmosphere. And when we play Tycho, we're creating music and rhythm 
that travels forever in different vectors. When the taiko is being played for a long time, um, the, the skin changes sound. It mellows. And an older drum has a warmer sound. Instead of boom, boom, the sound is more boom, boom. So here is our old taiko, our large taiko. We made it in the early mid-90s. Um, and here's an older skin, the same size, right above it. And I was thinking of these three drum skins as different incarnations of the drum or different chakras. Um, the sound of the skin, the sound of the drum, drum, the presence of the drum can be experienced with, within kind of different levels of us. The lower frequencies perhaps reach more the root chakra, the mid frequencies farther up the body, and hitting the sticks together, um, the highest frequencies then are reaching um, the crown chakra, perhaps. The section over here, this is kind of an entrance, a doorway. And I think of taiko as an instrument we play, an instrument that we make. But also, taiko is, taiko is something to enter. We can send our presence, our chi, our will into the drum as we strike and bring a different depth of sound. Um, when the taiko player practices this, it can change the experience of playing taiko. Sending our attention, sending our chi from energetic grand central station through the stick into the drum. Um, so taiko as a doorway. We enter the drum with our chi, with our attention. Um, and let's see. We, I'm looking at my notes up here. We were speaking with the drum. We're entering the drum. We're becoming the taiko. And taiko is also transportive. And we can go on a journey while playing taiko. We can go on a journey while hearing and experiencing taiko. And traditionally, taiko is used to reach the ancestors and communicate with ancestors. This section here is made with um, a couple pairs of, of the, the staves for our largest taiko. Uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't get it through the doorway. And so our largest taiko is um, still in our, our taiko space, what, 10 steps away from the Nomad Cafe. And um, these staves then are cradling space and air. And we have 48 of these held together with, with straps to create the drum shell. And then we have the skins under tension at each end. This is an older skin from the old daiko that's in this, in this display. And um, I, you know, when the center, when the center broke, um, we've kept the skins in storage. We use pieces to skin some of our smaller drums. I shaped the skin so it would fit in the doorway so that we can enter the drum. I've had a dream for a while to make a bigger version of our Ojime, um, our largest drum right now. Um, 
I'm aiming for a nine foot diameter, 12 foot long, um, with a trap door in the bottom so people can enter the drum and play from the inside. Um, that would be a different experience. Taiko is an instrument. Taiko is a way to connect with ancestors. Taiko is a family. Taiko is a community. I've been doing Taiko in Vermont since 86. We've been teaching and performing in schools for all that time. Uh, we've played at first night for a long time um, at the Vermont City Marathon. We have a parade group that meets three or four times a year. And anyone who takes the free two-hour parade workshop is on our parade email list and can join us when we rehearse on Zoom these days or outdoors in person. And when we have a parade gig, then we can get together. We do the parade music from Totori Prefecture in Japan. And this is Vermont's sister state as of a couple of years ago. And I have, a, I have a dream that more people in Vermont can learn the parade music from our sister state, Totori. And we can have parades in different parts of Vermont with 50 to 400 people. Burlington Tycho is also looking for um, participants, students, and future performers. Um, we are also looking for people who would like to participate by jumping on a brand new Tycho skin. Um, Tycho trampoline. The most recent drum we skinned, um, I had a volunteer running on the drum for six hours and it made the skin sound amazing. And if you'd like to be part of our Tycho trampoline team, um, tycotrampoline at gmail.com. We're reachable, um, burlingtontyco.org. I'm Stuart Payton with Burlington Tyco, and I'm around for the rest of my life. Come and join us. Thanks. Mm -hmm.